Welcome back to my channel. I've been going through the top 100 country hits of all time, compiled in 2014 by Rolling Stone magazine to better appreciate country music. Now there's a few that I said I would be reacting to and you haven't seen my reaction because those songs were blocked, thanks to Sony and Universal. And that includes the debut, my debut video by Brad Paisley. I was supposed to react to Welcome to the Future and I end up doing He Didn't Have to Be uh, by mistake actually and it was a happy accident because I really enjoyed that track and I'm gonna there's gonna be a link in the bottom where you can see that full reaction and here now is a summary of all the other ones that I reacted to that you have not seen so far. Well for the first one it's pretty good. I was actually kind of taken by surprise. Um, I guess when it comes to country music I kind of have uh, I have the same stereotypes that uh, probably a lot of people who don't listen to country have. I think I've heard made that song maybe once or twice before, not in its entirety. And uh, it's one of those where I just kind of thought it was a little too... Uh, what I don't uh, get about country, because I'm, I'm not from, you know, I'm not a redneck myself. I don't... Uh, I've never Ford by Ford or farmed or been on a combine, any of that kind of stuff. So. Uh, I always thought that song was kind of geared that way in pride, country pride, and uh, but I did like the piano. It was it was pretty cool. Um, I was kind of surprised by all the sexy scenes for a country video. I felt the chorus line was maybe a little repetitive, but it was just as catchy. Um, I don't know <laughs> what they're doing with the guy who who was kind of kept going yeah yeah in the bed. She doesn't want to be bothered by this common person who's talking to her, and she's all done up to the nines, right? Uh, and then we see where the nickname comes from. It comes from her childhood and fancy was kind of more like her escape. That's what I gather from that, that, uh, you know, that she's going to be fancy. She's going to be, become a somebody. Uh, and what I like about this song is kind of like what I've always enjoyed about hip hop is why I got into hip hop is because I always thought hip hop was about surviving your circumstances. And that's what it seems like this song was about. Bit, he's listening to music. And of course, all they're playing is all the sappy <laughs> songs about rain, and it's making it worse for him because he's trying to get his mind off it, and that's all he's hearing the songs about rain. Like, it's that's what uh, hip hop has in common with this uh, kind of surviving bad times and getting through it kind of thing, uh, just like uh, with Martina McBride's song. It's nice to hear these older tracks, you know, back when people really could sing. I mean, yeah, there, obviously there's a there's a few artists you could point to right now where you know. There's a lot, there's definitely talent, but there's just so much <laughs> auto-tune in, in popular music. It's nice, you know, to uh, hear a song where they didn't have to use all the tricks and whistles uh, to, to make it, uh, you know, it, this, this was pure emotion, right? Uh, yeah, definitely liked that. Hey, let me know what these songs mean to you when it was the first time you heard them, and please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload the next video. Thanks for watching.